everybody can have a heart murmur. It can be innocent murmur. That's where when the heart rate speeds up, like when there's infection or when there's an overactive thyroid gland, when the heart beats faster frequently, you can hear the blood flow as it comes out of the heart. That's what a murmur is. It's noises that come from the heart. Uh, children are frequently born with an innocent murmur. We call those functional murmurs. You can hear the blood flow, but there's no problem in the patient's blood flow. Now, there are murmurs that occur that can be dangerous. When we listen to the heart, we hear two sounds, lub-dub, lub-dub, lub-dub. The lub is the first sound. That's as the heart beats, it closes a couple of valves and opens a couple of more. When the heart rests, then valves stop, close in order to keep the blood from coming back into the heart. Aortic valve, when the heart beats, it opens. When the heart relaxes, it closes. Uh, let's talk about some of those murmurs. Uh, mitral valve murmur, mitral valve prolapse, very, very common. Young women frequently associated with fast heart rates. Uh, we call it SVT, supraventricular tachycardia. Just means a fast heart rate associated with mitral valve prolapse. It sounds like this. Instead of lub dub, it's lub to foop, lub to foop, lub to foop. And it's that foop that's the mitral valve prolapse murmur. A mitral insufficiency murmur is just it hides that first sound. And so all we hear is as the heart is beating. An aortic murmur can be aortic stenosis. Now stenosis usually means it's a hard time having the blood get through. So aortic stenosis is a rough, harsh murmur as the heart is trying to throw blood out. A diastolic aortic murmur is a blowing murmur. If you combine them, listen to this, this is gonna be good. That says the blood's going out, there's a murmur as the heart relaxes, some of the blood comes back into the heart. There are mitral murmurs that are important. Mitral stenosis sounds like rip to der. Now, how do you know if these murmurs are important? Well, we have to measure how the blood is flowing through the heart and to the body, how efficient it is, what the murmur is doing to that. And so if you do have a heart murmur, it needs to be evaluated. Your cardiologist can get echocardiograms and stress tests and special x-rays and can tell how your heart is functioning. If you have a heart murmur, be sure that you have it evaluated. It can be innocent or it can be a murmur that you want to see your doctor yearly to see how your heart is doing and what you can do.